<laughs> that was such a great DDD voice. It really was. I wish you oh. had that cartoon voice. And, and cartoon that cartoon's voice. actually really good. It's a really fun cartoon. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh... <laughs> Meta Knight was like the really cool older brother to Kirby, and then like Kirby was yeah. just a child. Then King DDD was just like a buffoon of like always trying to catch Kirby. He was ordering <laughs> villains to fight Kirby. Like it was a great cartoon. Kirby right back yeah. after. I have one of my favorite Saturday moments of being a kid. No, dude, I I, I definitely uh, get to you on that one. Uh, that one and uh, was it Sonic? The Sonic cartoon was pretty oh, solid Oh, Sonic too. X. Oh. Sonic X. Yep, that's what it was. Oh wow. Okay, so hey, let's let's stop talking about the cartoons. We're gonna focus on the the gameplay here because man, Brody Lee absolutely killing it on that first stock. Yeah, great to see Mr. Brody come back on the, on the screen here. Of course, in losers finals, like we said earlier, you gotta come back and fight. See if you can fight Jedi, Jedi, but first he's gonna face off Ben. And man, oh man, Ben just continues this momentum that he had against Psychot. Yeah, man. Uh, right now, I mean, it doesn't matter that he lost that stock. He's immediately back on the offensive. That dash attack, not that it's going to end the stock, but that dash attack is actually a really crazy two frame if you can time it right. Uh, absolutely just blows people off the stage. And um, <laughs> like, it, it's, it's just a really scary situation for most characters. Yeah. Okay, Ben setting up a night here, looking to get the gym fire. Great opportunity because it also sends back to Gordo, and he's able to apply a little bit more pressure with the dash attack. And I like it too. He's looking to see if, if Mr. Brody Lee is going to go for that jump out of shield with all the pressure that he's receiving from the night altogether. But now Ben gets the opportunity to go for the grab, go for the dim fire, and even send back the Gordo. More. Oh. Ben is not afraid to toss back these Gordos alongside a knight. Oh, wow. Beautiful parry. Going to lead to an opening from Brody Lee here. Not going to be able to get the Gordo option to, to connect, but still just having Ben off the stage. Oh, I thought uh, we got that re-grab. I thought the dash attack was absolutely going to close out that stock. But now we got Brody Lee. Oh, almost a scary situation. I think we got the down tilt. Knock the, the knight isn't going to connect. But man, that was terrifying. Yeah. Here's the grab, the pummel. I like it. Goes for the back throw here. This is Brody Lee an opportunity set up for the Gordo here, but you have to be careful. Ben is Ooh. never one to recover below the stage. Like, the way that you want him to, he'll either set up the knight here or wait for the last possible oh. moment to get that Farah's win. Yeah, that was a very unfortunate roll there in those last uh, frames when he didn't have the invincibility. The knight was able to close it out, but there's that up till again. We saw that plenty of times earlier, closing out stocks. And now Brody Lee has a slight advantage here in percentage. We'll have to see if he can continue to push it. Wow, okay, gonna get the down throw to the nair. Putting out a little bit more damage. You're gonna see the Gordo come into play here. Not gonna make a connection. That's fine. Ven's gonna get back on the stage and get some of these projectiles back into the game, trying to even things up. Yeah. Nice man comes in with the forward. You can see that shield damage there, but it's not enough to break through Mr. Brody Lee here. And he sets up the knight. Knight not able to even hit King Diddy. As you know, he's going to go for some of those arrows. Gets a little bit of the gentleman jab, but not the full hit. And you can see Ben never scared to go for that last opportunity to go for that up special. Now he holds the stage here. What's Ben set up here? And I like the fact that he's looking to set up that anti air because he knows the first thing Brody Lee might be able to go for is a jump out of shield. Mm hmm. No, super good stuff. Great defensive play from both characters so far and just finding their options. Oh, wow, what a tough spot to be in. That down tilt has led to uh, a forward error or back just getting a lightning kick before and almost setting it up for it again. But now both these guys just trying to get something to go. Wow, just the, the soft hit and the up smash. Not going to be able to kill, but man, what an option just to go for in general. I've never seen Ben roll. Like, I know he set up Knight to cover his potential roll, but like, the fact that Brody Lee was not even scared of the knight, and he was like, you know what, I can actually hit knight and then. But two birds, one hammer. Ooh, that shield was almost disappearing. Oh my god, the Gordo not going to be able to kill. But now we got Brody Lee on the offensive here. See if he's going to go for that dash attack. And he's not going to. He's definitely been trying to call out a few times now. But Ben Ooh. is now going to get grabbed. Is that going to be it? It's not going to be enough, right? Oh, no, 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 enough, no, no, no. Yeah, close, close. 155 here. I want to say maybe the next back throw or the up throw might actually do it here. Ben sets up the night here so he can kind of get a little bit of the stage from uh, ledge here to himself. But unfortunately, the second roll will be it. And Brody Lee takes game one. Oh, wow. That's actually uh, really crazy. Um, what's actually uh, <laughs> wild is just like the amount of like call outs both of them are trying to go for, trying to call out these, these rolls onto the stage. Um, we saw Ven kind of go for the up tilt and then try like it threw out like a whiff grab and, and really uh brody lee just kind of sat there holding on to the ledge so uh super good stuff 
But um, uh, actually, another quick little tidbit since we were talking about DDD's voice and how he wanted him to sound like the Kirby right back at you. Uh, Chico in the in the chat actually let me know that DDD's voice is actually Sakurai. Yeah, that is very true. Is Sakurai does voice. <laughs> it, it's it's obviously distorted for all you guys wondering back at home. But yes, Sakurai does voice DDD. I think in every single game that DDD has actually been in. Actually, I'm gonna try to see if I can find the voice actor for DDD for Kirby right back. I'll come back to you guys when I figure that out. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know if I'd want to give up Sakurai's voice just to have a, a, a joke, but <laughs> it would definitely be funny uh, to hear. But yeah, we're going to be getting back into this game two. PS2 once again. Ben off to the hot start here, getting about a good 50%. And now just getting this dash attack after dash attack, just finding all these options to just punish uh, Brody Lee for just letting on stage. Lightning kick going to send him off stage. Not going to kill him, though. Uh, but sitting at 100%, we could see a setup for a uh, kill scenario very soon. And the lightning kick is actually going to take out that stock. Only 25% on the first stock themselves. Brody Lee looking like they're in trouble. Yeah, good opportunity here. You see the Zebra goes for a little bit of a cross back to where it goes for the up tilt. There's the Gordo setup. I like the fact that he goes from forward. and catches Zebra from the upper. Brody Lee is playing all kinds of aggressive. Oh, that was close. That was very, very close. That forward smash could have actually taken care of playing fuck really, 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 really early alongside the Gordo. Oh, okay. Gonna get the inhale there. Yeah, I mean, Brody Lee's definitely still struggling here to get this, uh, get this stock out of the way. Oh my, another lightning kick. Not gonna be enough to close it out. But the dense fire will be Ven is on an absolute tear. I don't know what happened, but uh, the difference between game one and game two is like night and day. Yeah. Nice. It's a nice here. Double up tilt. I like it. And he reads the, the wow. the air dodge. Right at the second, just go for a little bit of extra damage with the force. Now, Van is playing for all the victory in the game. He's trying to get the, the victory royale. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying. He, he, you know for sure he want. You know for sure he wants to give Zelda that real crown. <laughs> Bro, for sure. And right now, yep, gonna be able to get back to the stage, no problem. Ben, it, oh, okay, there we go. Gonna get the re grab and the dash attack will close out that stock. Just sitting at 102. It might be too late. Gonna go for a crazy Pharaoh's Wind. Okay, small punish, not a huge deal. Once again, the Gordo setup. Ben with the, with the Fowers win on the recovery here. Nice. And he reads the air dodge yet again here. He's catching Brody Lee on the slip up here. Ben has been catching those all night long so far in the second game. For those of you guys wondering uh, who voiced uh, King Dedede in the anime, it was Ted Lewis. Ted Lewis' anime quotes, I'm sorry, uh, anime voice acting has been largely seen in Yu-Gi-Oh! as Bakura... And Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D, Yu-Gi-Oh! Beyond Time, Zexel, Dark Side of Dimensions, Arc V. He's also been the Pokemon Stadium announcer in Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 and made an appearance as Danbury in Red Dead Redemption 2 and several other Yu-Gi-Oh! games. He was also a... Apparently he was a writer on Sonic X. Well, that's crazy. Yeah, uh, definitely the resume there. But we're going to be getting into this game three uh, as Ven tries to continue to build their resume with another character, uh, not another character, another player underneath their belt for this MSM tournament. Uh, had to go through some pretty talented people, but also uh, Adam here has also done the same. So, I mean, these guys are definitely trying to get the one up on each other. One up piece right now, town and city. Game three is going to mean so much for obvious reasons. Big back air. Oh, wow, just the raw up smash. We've seen that a couple times from uh, Adam earlier tonight, just closing out stocks. Uh, so I'm actually not too surprised to see that once again, but uh, man, I mean, it's, these are just the types of options that Adam is gonna be going for here. So Ven has to be taking those things into account because it will be a quick stock and doesn't matter because Ven's gonna answer back with a read on the roll with a forward smash themselves, just to even things up here a little bit. Yeah. Here's the neutral coming out from Ben. And the knight. Nice. Taking that time to get in there with the neutral as soon as he sees Mr. Brody Lee going for the inhale. Alright, I'm gonna get the teleport back to the stage. The gore, okay, was setting up for Oh wow! <laughs> Just getting all sorts of stuff going on. I think uh 
reflected the Gordo and then got the up tilt to uh, extend <laughs> the combo. That was actually kind of funny. Nice. And then we'll set up here on night. Mike, he covers the Oh my god! Okay, sorry. we've seen that a couple times now, but oh boy, Ben, you got to take it easy. <laughs> that is so true. That is so true. Wow, that was beautiful stuff. He plays he plays Zelda and Knight like a Marvel 3 assist character. Like he tosses, <laughs> yeah, he tosses in those assists, man, and he gets in the Doctor Doom boots, the Sentinel dash, you call it, man. He just plays his character like a Marvel character. He's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good way to put it. But I mean, uh, Brody Lee right now saying I don't give a shit about Marvel's Capcom. I'm here to put the put the boots to you, trying yeah. to find a way to even up this game right now. DDD at 75%, but has got a lot of power to pack behind those punches. Oh, went for a hard read. They're not gonna be able to get it. Yeah, man. Like Bro Brody Lee's telling them that you may be playing Marvel, but we're playing Smash here. Like, calm, calm down, man. Calm down. <laughs> Nice, All once right. again, there's the night setup, a little bit of pressure, I like that. Brody Lee kind of calling out Zelda in the area with uh, Gordo, kind of a little oh, bit of wow. adaptation. Almost getting a hell of a, a Gordo snipe from way back, uh, calling Kobe on that one. Unfortunately, not going to be able to get it. <sighs> that role, Ven, this is so uncharacteristic from Ven. Like, Ven gets, Ven is, Ven's characteristic lies in those combos, man, but when I see him roll, it's very uncharacteristic, like here, and Brody is going to take care of that advantage on that mischaracterization of Ben gets the back here and gets game three. Yeah, no, super good stuff. Actually ran up as Ven was uh, slightly above the stage. Just kind of forced out that air dodge situation, I think is what it was, and just kind of calling it all out with a backer to close out that game. Adam gonna be going up 2-1 here. Very strong spot to be in, but Ven has been explosive in some instances. So this set is definitely far from over. Yeah. I definitely have to agree. This, both of these players have a lot to fight for. Ven definitely not pulling any of the punches, but Brody Lee is never far behind. I'm I, like, and he comes from Brawl. I don't know if you guys remember Adam. This was one of those great DD Brawl mains back in the day. So if you, if you guys are definitely, I'm pretty. I actually kind of, I'm not gonna be surprised if Ven actually knows that Brody Lee is Adam. or if he doesn't know, but. I know Ven has heard of the name. Ven was definitely one of those Wi-Fi all of Brawl mains. I don't know Adamus was one of those threatening DDD mains. I think I'm pretty sure it was like one of those top DDD mains for sure. Ready? Sure, for sure. Oh well, man, here we go into this game four scenario. Nice, goes for the up throw here, sets up a quick up I've never seen that from DD, but hey man, sometimes you gotta call on opponents very, very differently, and you never be afraid to kind of mix it up, especially when an opponent's casual option, especially for Ven, has been going for those spot dodges, I'm oh, sorry, those air dodges and those rolls. Wow, yeah, and we just saw uh, Adam going for that uh, that dash attack, trying to get that two frame, and Ben answering back with uh, the, the heal and that lightning kick, just to say, hey man, get away from ledge, I don't want to deal with your ass. Yeah. <laughs> agreed, agreed. Now, nah, once again, the knight, you can never underestimate that swing. It's got such a wide arc. Using that dense fire to even stop the portal. I like that down yet again, but then overextends it, so getting out wow. of this the stage. Oh, wow. Actually, that was such a well-placed Gordo, too. Uh, Ven uh, just preemptively threw out the Nehru's wisdom to try and reflect it back, but unfortunately, nothing was going to happen there. And then we just saw Brewer Lee run off to get that forward air to close out that stock. But Ven answering back, finally. Uh, even game right now in game four. Yeah. There's the missed up till here. That knight actually coming in to be Zelda's saving grace. Using the knight also to push out the Gordo and Yudi at the same time. Ven is looking for one more setup here. There's the dense fire, but you know what? That enough range gives Team Yudi to actually hold onto the shield. Alright, I know. Oh, wow. Actually, did a really good job waiting, uh, knowing that the air dodge is going to come out. Just unfortunately not going to be able to get the grab. And now we got Ven on the offensive again, looking for that lightning kick. Probably just trying to see if there's going to be a roll in. Not going to get it, though. Uh, Brody kind of off stage. Oh, almost a scary spot. <laughs> Beautifully spaced forward smash, but uh, Adam gonna be okay. Jeez. 
Yeah, that was close enough here, but Ben comes back on the stage here, sets up the knight. That's kind of been Ben's counterplay against Gordo a little bit more. He's been using knight kind of to slowly time over Gordo, because that's usually when Brody Lee likes to push a little bit more towards advantage. And then he also sends back the knight, vice versa, as well. So good stuff to hear him using the knight to also kind of cover Ben to come back on the stage. I love that play. You always see Ben go for it, especially when he needs yep. to do it the most. But unfortunately, that Gordo was still out there and hurts Ben right back off the stage. Yeah, we almost actually saw another uh, knight to uh, some conversion option from Ben as they got the, the knight into a Pharaoh's win. Wasn't going to be enough to be able to kill uh, Mr. Cody Lee, but still just putting the extra damage. 163 right now. He's got to be careful because the next hit from Zelda could be it on this stock. Oh, vice versa. Oh. Right here. Looking at forward air. Oh, no. Okay, well... Not an, uh, an unfortunate situation here. I mean, both players are going to be able to get back to the stage, no problem. But uh, DDD is definitely in a tough spot here, trying to find a way in. Trying to be very patient, but Ben is leaving no room for patience as he's going to find a way to power through that stock. Yeah, and I talked about it. He's been slowly changing the pace of the game. I love that rapid jab setup here. It kind of causes Ben to hold shield. But unfortunately, even with the parry, <laughs> he cannot escape it here. And there's the casual lady laying down on the stage, man. You know he was happy about that one. Yeah, you, you, he, he's definitely pretty uh, pretty happy that one. He knows that that shield was going to just be sitting there. And he, he knows that he was going to back out eventually. But what some people forget is that uh, you can continue to hold the rapid jab, as we saw right there from Adam. And uh, that next hit is just reaches out a little farther. So good stuff just being patient on that one. Yeah, good call out there. Able to see through Burley here and knows he's going to jump from the ledge and able to call it out with a neutral air. But there's the Gordo set again again. I'm telling you right now, man, he's been throwing out those... Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Finally man, getting the dash attack to close out that game three as Mr. Brody Lee here <laughs> is going to take a 3-1 over Ven. <laughs> I'm, that dash I'm, attack is so I'm funny. I'm lost for every single word. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He's been throwing that dash attack out all night, just trying to get some two frames, and finally lands it when it counts. <laughs> what an amazing game four set from Adam. But super great stuff from Ven. Ven has played amazing all night. Uh, gonna finish here in third place. So wow, what 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 a good run.